Hey y'all, this is Nugi from GuardianTalesGuides.com and I'm going to go over Earth Alvarabium, which is harrowing. It is a punishing fight. It is super random, um, not very consistent. Your damage will be certainly um, a mapping of that. I mean, like, okay, so our guild, um, we just completed that, this the, the encounter this morning, right? And uh, I've probably put in a few hundred attempts on this fight alone, right? I kind of geek out to it, although it's daunting as hell when you start off. It's pretty rough. But um, but yeah, like, so we, we finished it. It probably took us around, probably around 90, 90 attempts. Um, and they weren't, like, optimal attempts um, for a, a variety of reasons. But let's say around 90, maybe 100. Um, now, keep in mind, the boss has 800 million, right? Um, we are a, we usually get, like, second in Conquest, and we're top three in raid. We're very, very well. Our accounts are very strong in our guild, and it beat the shit out of us. Like, I mean, it it dug a hole and threw us in. Um, like, if you're gonna see in your guild, like on, even on our guild, like you can see your like three million hits, four million hits, and then you'll have like a twenty million hit, and then you'll have a three, and then an eight, and then a ten, a thirteen, twenty-five. You know, whatever it is, right? There's a spectrum there. It's pretty crazy compared to to normal bosses, right? So, like, just understand that, like, if you've been practicing this and you're going to make a ton of mistakes and you're probably going to need a hug or some strawberry milkshakes or something, I don't know, but just, it's a hard fight. Just understand that, right? Um, the difficulty is kind of off the charts. It's, it's, they simulate difficulty with randomness and interrupts and all that. And you're going to, you're going to be victim to all of it. Um, so the main question is, should you do it as a guild, right? So if you're in a top 10 guild, do, if you're not a top 10 guild, do not do it. Just don't do it. It's too hard, right? It's just, like, if it took us 90 attempts and we're pretty organized, it'll take another guild, like, 180 to 250 attempts, right? That's two or three days that you could be getting other rewards. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. If you, want to, if you want to say, put a fin in your hat and, or feather in your hat and say, I have completed this. Our guild completed this. That's awesome. Push it. Maybe push it on the second week. But if you're looking for rewards, this is not the right thing to do. Go do something else. Um, yeah, get all the supply drugs, by the way. As far as that goes, the best teams for this, um, the use, the normal use a team, which is what we used on Fire, use a Sin, um, Ray, and Lilith, super team. That is your easiest team I've found to use, most consistent. Um, Claude, Ogma, um, Rifle Ogma, obviously, Cam and Tenia. Uh, that is the second most comfortable team. And then the Earth team, Mayreal led, you know, Cam, Tenia, uh, I th think Veronica, actually. Um, that's also a very comfortable team. Um, but the damage kind of varies, right? What you're looking for in this encounter, usually when you do an encounter like this, or like an encounter in general, you're like, what's the highest damage team? That's what I'm going to go with. That's crazy. Don't do that in this encounter. What you're looking for is what's the most consistent damage team. That's the go-to. And I'm telling you right now, use A or Claude. That's what you want. Um, there are other teams that I've seen videos on, like Lilith leading a team, um, getting like 28, 29 million. What's fucking nuts but honestly i've watched the video numerous times trying to replicate it and like in practice lilith will claw the drones and you'll lose a weapon skill and you can't afford to do that in a real like real run what they're getting away in practice with is not what you're going to be doing in a real run so what i did is i tried to make a task list that applies to all teams right and there's only one exception but this task list you're going to hopefully use, and I'm just going to throw it up there, right? I'm going to throw it up there, and I'm going to show you a few things of the Use and Claude team, um, just to kind of let you know how it all works, and so you can see by example. But that task list will be you yours to refer to to go back to and go ah, because I found that there's like eight major pivotal things that you need to do in the fight no matter what team you're using and if you do those eight pivotal things maybe like man, maybe six to ten i don't know whatever but if you do those things 
it's going to be key for you. If you nail every one of those, you're going to be pushing out 15 to 25 million if you have a good account. But if you have a decent account, you should still be hitting good numbers and you should survive the fight, which is hard to do in itself. So, like the um, here's a task list right here. Let's go. Um, I'm not going to read through them because you're going to get a lot of experience with them and the clips that follow. The one thing I will say is number two, use weapon skill before the drones cast interrupt lasers. That's that's kind of specific to what team you're using. Use a absolutely do that because you've got a fast weapon skill. <coughs> Claude, do it as well, although it's a little bit more tricky. Um, Mayreal, I think you're good on that one, pretty sure. And then Lit, um, what is it? Uh, Lena and Lucy, don't do it like that. Like it's especially Lena. Um, it's a lot more shaky, a lot more scary. Um, but that's specific. Everything else on this list that you're looking at, you can do and you need to do to do it right. So hopefully this helps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some Yusei clips and then I'm going to show you some Claude clips and then you're going to be so prepared mentally to do this fight. It's crazy. And now just understand also that I wrote this task list because I've went through so many different iterations of how to do this video. So many. So many. And this is the best format that I've came to or came up with to do it. Um, so the video clips were recorded before the task or the, yeah, before the task list that I just that I'm showing you. Task list is the most important thing. That's accurate. Unto everything that I know at this point. The other clips and some of the comments with them, because I recorded them, the clips <coughs> and the commentary at the same time. They may not be as knowledgeable as about the task list that I just said, because I made the task list later. Nonetheless, here we go. Let's do it. I would like totally want to impress upon you here that the clips I'm about to show you are all successful attempts. This doesn't account for the vast majority of things that did not go right in the testing of these videos. <laughs> I mean, it's rough. I'm, I'm just as good as you are as a player. It hit me too, so... Just don't get discouraged if you don't see the level of success in your own runs like I did in mine. All right, so just like we talked about, let's start it off. It's down the middle. It's done. All right, cool. We got the first one off. Looking pretty good. I want her to stop before we uh, do your weapon skill because we don't want her to run out of the way. Okay, cool. First part looking good so far. Alright, hopefully cast... There it is. That's the laser cast we were looking to stop. That's good. So far we're on par. We're looking pretty good. The drones are a little hectic right now. Alright, let's see what our time is here. 54 seconds. We can take our time on these. Alright, so looking good. This is really good. So we've got exactly 74. Nasty little run already. This comes out, we special. Doesn't get anything. Now we're specialing really quick to make sure that get it all off. I'll try to stay out of the way here as much as possible. I want to come near me. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Okay, that is the best run I've ever had on this. Not too shabby. It's a pretty good one. Let's see here. All right, just doing the same old thing here, getting started. All right, looking good so far. Cool. And if you ever wonder why she stops sometimes, I think she's just pathing on somebody. And she gets stuck. You're like your you're body blocking her. Which is cool. 
All right, looking for that cast. There it is. All right, now we're chilling. We're doing good. We're doing good. Next cast comes out. Stayed in it. Just gonna do a little job. Look for the. Oh, we got interrupted. I'm not really sure how, but let's do it. So this is where we have to chain a little faster because uh, she's gonna go away real quick. This is not the greatest though, because we have to do two chains. We're gonna have to deal with the drones in the third phase. Because she's only got 37% stun, you see what I'm saying? I mean, our damage right now is really good. We don't wanna get sucked into that, because that's a fake chain. Don't know why that happens. We're not gonna be able to get our, our, gr our great setup here. We're gonna get a pretty good one though. Well, here we go. Those things wreck. I think what happens there is you jump into her. I mean, that's a great score, but you jump into her and that puts you in front of her and then she casts those things. Um, it's it's tricky. That happens more often than not for me. All right, let's go, Claude. So I like to make sure I group up the drones with the uh, the players. I want to hit the boss and the drones at the same time. I thought there's a little bit more shaky on this encounter with this team than some of the other teams. So we got to hug the boss here to get this weapon skill off before he does the rush. And hopefully he doesn't run away too easily. So before my weapons, my weapon skill is going to be get, getting up here, and I'm going to have a, like an extra second or two to hit it. Just because of the way my cooldown is over here. All right, so we're looking pretty good so far, and we've got one chain to go. So ideal. We're at an ideal run. So we don't want a special here because we want to get the special off before the drones come. And there we have it. And I'm going to special real quick. And now I'll take my time with the last two. Because there's no way we can get that to pop. Ooh, something didn't work out there. But 20.4 with that team. I'm pretty happy with it. So, I mean, Claude really doesn't differ too much from the Yuzay team. So long as you get that special off, anyway. <laughs> like, his, his weapon skill takes a little longer. To hit if you're just doing the same stuff it does get hit a little bit more but you don't have to worry about his health as much as other characters just because his auto attacks replenish his health so much oh no what happened so not super ideal but whatever here we are that's probably actually going to make it so he can't cast um, one of the other skills quickly, though. So when I get this off, I'm going to have to hurry through the chains. So I want to be able to hit some of those chains later on. He went, he stood up fast, like real fast. I've not seen that one before. Heli just got up and left. 
We're not going to get as much as I'd like to get on this. We're going to have to expand out those chains. So you never really want to be directly in front of him. Because at that point he just takes it out on everybody. Like that. But sometimes you get knocked into him. It is what it is. But hey, I'm, I'm totally fine with a 16 million hit. If it's consistent, it's better than getting a 4 or 3 that I'm, I'm seeing from some of my buddies here. So at this point, I've tried the Mayreal team a few times. It's hard to get a good run in. It's really, really chancy, even if knowing what I know. Um, yeah. The, the drones come into it a bit, they do a lot of damage, um, and your teammates don't do a very good job eliminating them. So it gets a little crazy, right? So I might get bull rush here. And I've actually had the chain broken a decent amount of time, which is great. So I've got to wait an extra two seconds to weapon skill the next one. Just so the timings, uh, see. Got to go a little faster on these. Should we have health when we go into the next part? So we're going into the next one. Okay, we've got a good set here. Now let these take your time. The other thing I don't like about this lead is you have to kind of get close to Mayrail to use that the thing, and then once you get close, oh jeez, it starts the. Uh, I missed that last one, but it, it misses, once you get close, because Mayrill kind of has jerky movement, right, which I'm not a fan of, but once you get close to, okay, I don't know what that boom was, but I think Transformers are fighting outside of my house, anyway, Mayrill has to get close, and it's kind of jerky movement, so you can get close, and then, like, attack, and be in front of her, which causes her to do the machine gun thing, which kills your group. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Either way, I've done enough. That's fine. <laughs> you you get the point. Uh, that's that's how Mayrail leads. So not my favorite. So, anyways, at this point, I've went over Yuse, Claude, and Mayrail leads on Earth Elvira Bium. It's kind of a huge pain in the ass fight. Um, I honestly, the, the Yuse and Claude ones are stupidly consistent for me at this point. So I don't, there's very few messed up videos that I didn't show you. Um, but the Mayrail lead is not easy. <laughs> like I definitely, I felt like, I think their weapon skills take a little longer to activate. The thing can get out of the chain. Uh, health is a little bit more sparse. It just, it wasn't ideal, but I figured um, after all that, you've seen this, you've gone this far, I was going to show you a clip of just pure sadness, right? So just watch, and here we are. Look at the damage. We're at 50 seconds, going through our chains, looking pretty good. We've, at this point, gotten f way better damage than I've ever got, and then I die before we hit Bombardment. I was at 17.6 before Bombardment. That could have been a 28 million run. Oh! whatever i don't care this game's stupid i'm leaving but maybe you should subscribe to hear me bitch and complain more so all right adios hopefully that helps let me know if it does bye